Well, that was a long day, <clears throat> a long day, but uh, you know what? All smiles all around, really no low points of the entire day, to be honest. And, um, you know, it's cold and there's lots of snow, but man, we wish that all the days could be or all the weeks could be like this, right? Now, the reality is they won't. So, uh, you know, the old adage, the oldest adage, what goes up must come down. At some point, things will rattle a bit and... Um, you know, for some of you, your resolve in harness, in harness racing and with the stable will be tested, but it hasn't been thus far in 2022 and for quite a while. We've been very fortunate, had a, had a great year. <clears throat> you know, James won the O'Brien Award. Um, you know, we had a, a lot of good luck all over, all over North America, really. And uh, it continued on tonight with my boy. Uh, Tour to Lindy. I keep telling everybody I love this horse. I love this horse. He is a fast horse and he has his problems. He has his issues. But when he's close to good, he's real good. And uh, he was real good tonight. I could tell him in the post braid, he was bouncing around. He had his ears up. And then uh, he knew I was just about to move him. And I just let him ride up on top of Ronnie's helmet just one more time. And when I cut him loose, uh, cut him loose out of the hole. <laughs> Ronnie goes, watch him in the last turn. <laughs> so, uh, Tour de Lindy was awesome tonight. I uh, had a great day at the sale. I gave you guys an in-depth um, <clears throat> an in-depth look at who we bought, because I was surprised we bought anything, but who we bought, why we bought them, and um, you know what my plan was for them. Just a second. Empty. Thank you. Got the trailer on. I'm not going to take the trailer off tonight. You know, as I drive away from the track, it's it's got to be part laziness that I'm not taking this trailer off. <clears throat> I'm just going to park it outside the house tonight and uh, come in in the morning. Actually, I don't know where I would put it. There is snow everywhere here in Northfield Park. I don't know if you, yeah, look. I don't know if you can see it good. Like those are, <clears throat> geez, that's got to be seven feet. That's got to be seven feet of snow piled up in places. Now, I've been coming here a little bit in the winters over the last few years. I've never, I don't know what it's usually like in Cleveland. I know it's, you know, they get the lake effect stuff too, but I, I, I've i never seen this much snow here here in Cleveland. So, uh, a lot. A lot of snow. Track was hard tonight, but uh, Lindy was all systems go, which is important because this is a horse that bled through Lasix three, four starts ago, and anytime that happens, you know, as a trainer, if you guys think back, we had a couple of horses a couple of years ago, uh, a few years ago, that I, 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 I sold because they had bled through Lasex, and I, I was extremely concerned, as you should be, but um, knowing that, you know, uh, with a very strict regimen, you can, uh, training regimen, you can mitigate that. You can get that horse back to not only competitive, but razor sharp. This is a horse just come 29 seconds a mile and 55 in February. It's minus five here. Minus five, snow everywhere. The track's not great. And the horse just went at 55. So uh, just a great feeling. A great job by Jason, Lauren, everybody in the Ohio barn to get this horse back to where he is. He is razor sharp right now. So very happy tonight. Very happy with him. Um, and, and to be honest, just as I said, uh, it's not often that everything goes well on a day. Everything. But today it appears that everything has. So I just jinxed it. I didn't see if Swan's Honey raced. Come on, Swan's Honey. 